Hi, this is Ned from Magic of Wings. I am servicing Paul Pico Watch ETA 2824. Yes, that's the bottle for Epilame. Now you can tell, this video I will be focusing on oiling and reassemble. And this Epilame will create thin film on the surface. It helps to increase surface tension, which oil will stay where it needs to be. Let's start with lubrication the main spring. I'm using Mobius 8200. I run this throughout the length of the main spring. Here is the braking grease, Mobius 8212. Because the main spring will be coiled anti-clockwise, so the braking grease will be put on the left hand side of the groove. I am hand coiling the main spring to the barrel. Once done, I am making sure everything is clean. Now, I'm fitting the arbor. After closing the lid, I lubricate the arbor with Mobius 9104. I am wiping off the excessive oil. To ensure the cleanliness, I changed new finger cuts. Before we start, let's deal with the troublemaker. This wobbly wheel needs to be... That's what I'm talking about. Now we can start with intermediate wheel. I treat the escape wheel with epilame and I will show you later what different it makes. I soak it for 30 seconds.
make sure it dries before reassemble. Second wheel, Mobius 9010. Once all the wheels in, I put train wheel bridge. Let's make sure the problem is solved. No more wobbly wheels. Next, I'm fitting the main spring barrel. Mobius 9104 to the stud of the hacking lever. Now I can fit the barrel bridge. OBS 9104 between the bridge and the arbor. Looks good. Mobius 9010 for the escape wheel. Mobius 9010 for the second wheel. Mobius 9010 for the third wheel and Mobius 9104 for the intermediate wheel. This is click spring. I put Mobius grease 9504 at the tip of this click spring. Mobius 9104 to the pivot hole of the click. Now I can fit the click. Mobius 9104 to the base of the crown wheel. That was a bit too much. I'm fitting the crown wheel. And this crown wheel is secure with reverse threaded screw. I put a touch of Mobius 9104 before I fit the ratchet wheel. Here is the ratchet wheel. Once the ratchet wheel is secured, I always test the operation before I move on. Three clicks are enough for testing. Next, I treat the pallet fork with epilane. I'm fitting the pallet fork and secure it with pallet bridge. I 
I give it a wind before next step. Notice the semi ball of Mobius 9415 on top of the jewel. And that's because of epilame. Otherwise, the oil will lie flat on the surface. I manipulate the pallet fork so that four or five teeth of the escape wheel get lubrication. And I repeat the step four times so that every teeth gets lubrication. See that semi ball once again. Move on to the dial side. I put Mobius 9104 to the arbor. Mobius 9104 to the intermediate wheel. Mobius 9010 to the third wheel. And Mobius 9010 to the escape wheel. Let's clean and lubricate the in cup lock. I always make sure it clean using pick wood picking up the jewel. and I treat the cap jewel with epilame. Mobius 9010 on the cap jewel. Epilame helps the oil to stay in the middle of the jewel. Let's work on the keyless work. I'm fitting the winding stem to the crown. Next, I lubricate the winding pinion and the sliding pinion with Mobius 9504. And I put a touch of Mobius 9504 where the winding pinion will interact with the main plate. That's the hacking lever. Make sure it lies in the groove of the sliding pinion. Now I can fit the winding stem. You can see the action of the hacking. Mobius 9104 to the start of the operating lever. That's the operating lever. Mobius 9104 to the pivot hole of the setting lever. This is setting lever. Mobius Grease 9504 in the groove of the sliding pin. Mobius 9104 to the start of the yoke. That's the yoke. Make sure the yoke lies in the groove of the sliding pinion. Mobius 9504 where the setting lever interact with operating lever. Now I'm fitting setting lever spring. I'm putting the screw to hold the spring and not tighten it up yet. Mobius 9504 where the spring interact with setting lever. 
Mobius 9504 where the spring interacts with the yoke. Now I engage the spring, both sides. Then I can tighten up the spring. Let's test the operation and give it a rough cleaning. Mobius 9504 for the corrector view. Here is the corrector view. Mobius 9104 to the start of the setting wheel. Here is setting wheel. Mobius 9104 to the start of the minute wheel. And again, Mobius 9104 for the Canon Pinion. This is Mobius Grease 9504. I'm fitting the Canon Pinion and the minute wheel. Next, I'm fitting motion work cover plate. Mobius 9104 to the pivot hole of the calendar driving view. Now, I'm fitting the calendar jumper spring. Mobius 9504 to the spring. Now I'm fitting the date ring. Now I am engaging the spring. Mobius 9104 to the start of the calendar intermediate wheel. Here is calendar intermediate wheel with cover plate. Mobius Grease 9504 Mobius 9104 I'm fitting the hour wheel and I test the overall operation quick set date change and date change at midnight Back to the movement side, let's fit the balance wheel. I start seeing the sign of life. The motion doesn't look perfect, but we can deal with that later. For now, let's clean and lubricate Inca block. Yes, epilame to the cap jewel.
Mobius 9010 on the cap jewel. You can obviously see the oil didn't spread elsewhere. Let's take a closer look. That circle of oil in the middle of the jewel confirms how epilame helps. Let's work on automatic mechanism. I submerge reversing wheel and oxyrally reversing wheel in Mobius V105. Mobius 9104 to the start of the ratchet wheel driving wheel. I'm fitting ratchet wheel driving wheel. That's the auxiliary reversing wheel and reversing wheel. That's the reduction wheel. And the undercover plate. Mobius 9010 to order juice on both sides. That's all me servicing Paul Pico watch, ETA 2824, lubrication and reassemble. Thank you for watching. See you in next video. When passion and hobby collide. I'm Ned from Magic of Wheels.